brother's watching. Hey, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we need to bend a tailpipe for my brother's bus. And if you're interested in the bus, check out his channel. It's Finding Mark in Maine. Uh, but we're going to be using this uh, pipe bender. This thing comes with several different attachments for different size pipes. They pop out and you can change them out. They're really small pipes. They're really big pipes. And of course, you can adjust the rollers up here in out depending on the angle of the bend. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, test this thing out. We gotta kind of turn this into a slight S to uh, replicate the tailpipe on his bus that is completely rusted out. This is an old piece of pipe we found laying around. So let's get to it. So this is what we're dealing with. We just, uh, Mark just cut this off his bus. Uh, hopefully it's gonna slide. This pipe's gonna slide right in the other one and basically make, uh, replace this one. So we're gonna be making this bend and it's hard to see, but this is a bend as well. Uh, but this was also rusted out there. So that's kind of the shape we're gonna be recreating with uh, this tool. And of course, the end of this was rusted off. So we're gonna leave at least six, eight inches on it to make sure we have a tailpipe that clears uh, that clears the back of the bus. So that's what we're gonna try and recreate, just like that. We got the pipe in there. We're gonna leave a little bit on this end, not bent to slide into the um, other part of the pipe in the bus. Um, and then we'll have to spin it again to create that other bend. Uh, we're not gonna get the exact bend, you know, from the original. Number one, we're not gonna heat the pipe up. We're just gonna try and do it cold. And number two, uh, I don't know, the, the curvature of this is not going to be the same, but it's not going to matter. It's just a tailpipe. It's beyond the muffler. We just need to uh, make the curve, two curves, so we can come out straight out of the back of the bus. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start cranking down on this thing and see what happens. Mark's going to crank. We're just going to go slow with it here and see if we can create that bend still loose going to come up against those other okay it's up against them now so my concern is that the pipe don't kink on the back side now we got it it's pinching in here so it should stop it from doing that but we'll see oh hold up yeah it's already starting to yeah all right so that's not working exactly as pan plan was starting to see it crush here and we can't have that because this has to slide in bear with us we're going to take two here and figure out our next step Okay, so what happened um, is we were starting to crush the pipe here. Again, we're not heating it up. So what I did is I got a pipe that fits in there. Uh, we straightened it out a little bit, and we're going to use this to at least maintain most of the shape up here so this doesn't crush into it because it was bending nicely down in here. So we're going to go ahead and go to it again. It feels like it's starting to flatten out. I'm gonna turn the light on here so we can see a little bit. Now oh, go a couple more pumps, see what happens. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we're not looking for precision here. Hold that, I'll pull this out. So this definitely worked maintaining the shape. Of course, I gotta put my camera down here. What we did is we packed it full of sand, sealed both ends to try to help prevent kinking. And we're gonna try and bend it some more. So we're hoping this will prevent uh, more kinking. I'm on that line that we made underneath there. We're gonna to continue to go in this direction a little bit further, but by filling it with sand, it should help hold its shape. Let's put this on the ground so it's not wiggling yeah. around more. Ready? Yeah. Which way you want to go? Is that way? Yes. Yep. Should we move it down further now? No, let's keep going, right? I don't think we put much of a bend on yet, have we? Well, I'm watching that side each time bend down, so it looks like it's starting to flatten, so. All right, let's call it good. We'll loosen up, and we're gonna spin it now and go the other way. Hopefully. Let's see what that did to it by having that sand in it. Definitely helps. Oh yeah, definitely helps. I was 
it's definitely bending it. It's not kinking really. Uh, it just looks like it's getting flatter right here. Still, oh yeah. Well, let's see if that's enough. Yeah, it straightens back out oh, and I saw it. All right, so we got the bend going this direction here. Hopefully it's gonna be good enough. And now we got it flipped over to bring it back the other direction. And you'll see that we'll show this, what we're talking about when we go back to the bus with it. But we're gonna go ahead and this has gotta be a pretty good bend. All right, just kind of show you here what we were bending. Uh, this is a tailpipe. My brother's bus, it goes in, turns, and goes back in. And we got it pounded in all the way down there. So yeah, we filled it full of sand. That definitely helped. You know, there's probably a couple extra kinks that we didn't need because we didn't put sand in it to begin with. So that's uh, definitely one way to get it done, save you a lot of money, and it's gonna serve the purpose just fine. The rest of the muffler system in this thing is in really good shape. It was just the tailpipe that rusted. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, this thing has, like I said, a bunch of different um, ad adapters you can put in here with different size pipe. We really should have heated that pipe up and we would have, we would have got a lot better bend out of it. Uh, but we're really, it's not really that a crucial, crucial project. It was just a tailpipe. Certainly a pretty handy little tool. Now this has a 12 ton capacity. And, uh, you know, something you don't use very often, but if you need to bend some pipe, it's certainly a good tool to have. Well, there you have it. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. I will look to see if I can find one of these and put a link to it in the description if you're interested. Um, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.